love post, so baby. You a little 48, baby. Got a little candy in her pocket. She gon' take off like a. Hey y'all, what is up? How you doing? What you doing? If you're nobody now, my name is Ellen Marie and welcome back to another video and welcome back to Curls Miss. So today's video was not planned on my agenda of Curls Miss videos and I was like, well, why not? I'm about to go out and so I was like, okay, let's do it. So today I am going to be doing a little hair shot. Now I'm not be doing nothing crazy. I think I'm going to do my little tendrils or do I want to do half up, half with a curl clip? I think we're gonna go with tendrils, yeah. So this is day four here, I believe, but, and it still look good, right? But it rained yesterday and it's very humid, so I know that my hair is gonna shrink up because it doesn't have much of a cast to it. So this is my hair. What is it looking like? Y'all know I've been wearing my side part again. So I'm gonna part my hair, and I don't really need a middle part, but this is how I'm gonna get the two tendrils. Um, and it's gonna be kind of hard for me to do this because um, my hair is so like defined and whatnot. I'm getting some flurries, whoo, stained, um, custard. Okay, so I did that. Now I'm gonna spray my entire head. First, I'm gonna spray it with some water that's in this little spray bottle. Don't ask me why I have this little bottle. Especially since it's small. And then I'm gonna spray my hair with the Eco Slay Sangria. This is the hair refresher from Eco Slay. It's one of my favorite refreshers because I feel like it just does a better job at re-moisturizing the hair than regular water. So once I've sprayed that, I've sprayed that. And to be honest, I could bring my hair up, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my little tendrils. Now, I think today I want them kind of big usually i like them kind of small but today i want them kind of big like that so i'm gonna take a clip and clip mm, finger slippery and clip that away while i do the other one okay so i did that and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna twist them for right now until i get back to them because next i can move on to pulling my hair up i'm gonna take this clip out Ooh. And I think I'm going to have a tendril in the back too. This one I'm just doing with my finger. I pull that out. And then pull this one out. Now usually I would do this on more um, of used hair. Or like day seven or something type hair. But like I said, it's humid. So I don't want my hair to shrink. And it's almost time for me to wash it anyway. So go ahead and make a style of it. So, this is it, right? But I'm gonna start pulling at the ends to pull the roots out to give me more of a fuller look. Make sure not to get those tendrils in there because I love to do that. And I'm gonna take some more water. And now I'm gonna take my tangle teaser brush just to help me flatten out the roots. is going to brush those curls up and it's going to make for a better ponytail. Now usually I would use some type of gel. Um, Where is my gel? That's what I was looking for to be honest. I was like I need some type of gel and I am going to try to carve out my little edges and whatnot. Take some more water on my sides and start brushing. Now the brushing is usually the thing that takes me the longest but this style usually only takes me like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so I have a ponytail, right? And it's not too bad, but I am gonna grab my gel really quick. I'm gonna take a scrunchie just to hold my ponytail in place while I get my gel. Okay, let me look at my gel right back. Okay, so I got some wet line gel. Oh, it's dripping right here on my face. Okay. I will spray some more water before I apply my gel because the gel will adhere better to it. Probably will take some more gel, but for right now, even on my hand and just work it up into my hair. Especially applying it to my sides right here because this is where I'm going to slick it. I want it to be slick. 
take a little bit more just make sure I get the front so now what I'm going to do is take the ponytail out okay took that out I'm going to start brushing up again all right see how that made it much slicker but to help it out i have my little brush now i don't think about it have i done this hairstyle with y'all i know i do a lot of hairstyles on tiktok but i don't think i did it on youtube with y'all okay that looks way better and more slick and again i'll pull at the ends to pull the roots out and y'all see how big my puff is i like that i love that so now this could be my final time putting the ponytail. I'm using my scrunchie. These I get from Target and they're super stretchy. So, wrap it around two times. If mine was a little bit tighter, I wouldn't do twice. But, and this is every curly girl's nightmare, isn't it? Okay. Now, I don't have no like so um, amount of times I wrap it around. I just do it until it feels tight. Sometimes I do twice, sometimes I do three times. I'm gonna try to do three. If I can't do three, then I'll just let it go. Okay, whew. Y'all know the struggle. Jeez Louise. Okay, I got it. Now we'll just pull at my ends to fluff it out. Make sure you pull the back pieces because that's where the hair is really going to shrink in the back. Or try to curl up like that. To define these little pieces back here. And typically I would take a mousse. But I don't want to use the mousse I have right now because it's really sticky and I need the towel to wipe that off. And I don't have one right now. So water, Eco Slay, Sangria, which is going to refresh that curl to bring back that curl pattern and apply the smallest amount of gel since my hair already has gel on it just to help it out just a tad bit and this tendril is kind of big so i can do smaller pieces within this one so there's that one right <laughs> take my sangria again and did i mention that this smells so good Right, and again, take a little bit. Oh, the water is running down my arm. <laughs> and take a little bit of gel to get that curl going. And I'm just going to define the pieces like that. Okay. And now I think I want to. No, I'm going to do these pieces first. I was going to do my edges first, but no, I'm going to do these pieces first. And like I said, these are kind of big, but it's okay. So again, spray your water. And you don't have to spray as much water if you don't feel like applying heat, but I am going to blow dry the pieces so that they'll dry. There it goes. Oh, there goes that one. Oh my God, this water and the sangria stuff is really running down my fingers. And sometimes I might do like a fro type thing, but I'm going to split them up where it's going to be like this. And now I'm going to go off and do my edges and dry these pieces. And I'm going to come back and show you all the final look. But basically, I'm going to dry them and then I'm going to stretch them a little bit. And I'm going to do my edges and then we're going to come back for the final look. Okay, y'all. So I'm back and this is the final result. My tendrils are not usually where I put them, but I kind of like it. it's more in my face type thing where you really can't see my part too much. And I don't mind it. I kind of like it a little bit, but this is the final result. Let me put y'all up a little. Y'all see? My hair is completely dry. Um, It will shrink up a little bit more. These, I know they will, and this will too, but I don't mind it. So I stretch it a little bit more so when it shrinks, it kind of looks good instead of really, really short. I just pick my hair a little bit, but this is my result. It's super cute. It is something you can do in less than 10 to 15 minutes. Me, mine just take a little bit more because I want it to look a little better. You know, typical, but it works. It gets the job done and it looks cute. And it's something you can wear on a hot day, on a cold day, 
um, a rainy day and everything else and above. I do want to let y'all know that I do have a code for my sangria from EcoSlay. If y'all want to try their hair refresher, the code will be on the screen and down below in the description box. And it also works for the rest of their products. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If y'all want more hairstyle videos in Curlsmiths or in general on my channel, please let me know. Typically, I do them on TikTok, so... I'm gonna get try, I promise. It don't mind my nails. But yeah, this is the finished result. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. Peace.